Hey guys, welcome back. Now, like I said in my previous video, my friend Jeff um, wants us to put together a library sort of thing uh, about his cinema lenses. Now, for whatever reasons, these vintage lenses are pretty rare and, and a lot of them may have likely ended up in the hands of the collectors. Keep in mind these lenses are expensive and I honestly don't know why it costs what it costs. This is the Engineers Type S2 modified into a Leica like N mount. Personally, I don't care how rare or how sharp a cinema lens is if the modification work is crappy. Now this Engineers is uh, it's pretty nicely modified. Um, the focusing is smooth, the coupling is accurate, and most importantly, it's not falling apart. So that's good. I use the Cine Steel film both the daylight and the tungsten. Why you may ask? Well, because this engine is it's a vintage and it's also a cinematic glass. That's why. Now I also use the Leica SL and the Leica Monochrome to test the lens. I was feeling nervous walking around with the lens. Um, I don't. Well, I don't. I don't really enjoy using this lens because this darn thing is just way too expensive for me. Now this lens renders like pretty nice bouquet. Um, it has a nice soft glow. Color is pretty nicely saturated, and when shooting directly at the light, the the image doesn't get fogged up. I would say it's pretty good um, for a vintage lens. Keep in mind guys, uh, just because I'm saying this is a good lens, I'm only referring to this particular lens. The condition varies with each individual lenses and to be all fair and square, cost is by no means correlated to performance. I mean seriously, there are tons of great lenses out there with similar or even better performance than this guy here and <laughs> at a fraction of the cost as well. I'm no professional photographer, I'm just a strap guy who really enjoys um, photography. So hmm. this lens vignettes a bit in still shots. Um, vignetting is good, but it gets annoying if every single shot are vignetted. Now when paired with the Leica SL, the resolution this engine is gives is surprisingly good in my standard. Now in the past, I tried some like old lenses on the SL. They were, oh man, um, actually they were horrible. But this engine is it's pretty good, um, wide open or stop down. Now these video clips were made with the Leica SL. Um, now let's be honest here, I would never be able to duplicate that sim cinematic feel you see in a motion picture. Um, I honestly don't think a cinematic lens would give a cinematic tone. I think that tone comes directly from the professional uh, lighting. Now video wise, this lens definitely definitely has enough uh, resolution. Personally, I don't like to shoot videos at wide open. Um, I don't fancy seeing that glamour glow throughout the whole duration of the video. It's just not my thing. I stopped down to around 5.6 for these clips. Um, the rendering is nice and solid. Um, very similar to the modern lenses that we see today. Um, I think it's amazing that old, this old lens is capable of doing such. This is the clip taking it wide open. Um, you might like it, but I sure as hell don't. It's way too glamorous for me. Hmm. And lastly, the Leica Monochrome. Um, okay, so it renders just like any other lenses. And I prefer not to shoot at wide open in street photography. And I like the lens to be small, especially for a rangefinder camera. Now, this engine is it's pretty big. Uh, it sort of stands out like a sore thumb. It is perfectly understandable because keep in mind, this is a modified lens. Maybe I'll try to shoot more at wide open in the future. Um, it might be a better way to test out the lens and check out the bouquet. I don't know. Right now we have about 10 more engineers lenses in our inventory. Um, yeah, Jeffo has a lot of lenses. It's possible we might have a separate channel focusing on these uh, exotic lenses. So please stay tuned, I'll keep you guys informed. Alright guys, uh, that's about it for today. I will see you guys next time. Bye!